my name is David Schwint. I work for the Iowa City Police Department and I'm assigned to patrol of the Iowa City Downtown District. 100% of my patrol time is foot and bike patrol in downtown Iowa City. Years ago, we, the Iowa City Police Department, participated in a pro program called You've Been Caught. And You've Been Caught was uh, a packet of tickets that we could give out one at a time to kids who were doing something safe. Whether it was looking both ways before crossing the street, crossing with signals, wearing a bicycle hat or a bicycle helmet, etc. When we gave them one of these tickets, they could take that ticket to Wendy's and get a free small frosty. It was just a positive interaction with the community. We haven't participated in that for years and I don't even know that that program is still around. But when I was downtown here, I used to deal with a gentleman who was in the Ped Mall most every day and frequently left behind litter and uh, food on the sidewalk. Uh, he believed he was feeding the birds, but he was tearing up food and throwing chips down and stuff. And so I talked to him a number of times about uh, keeping the place clean and safe. And that's what the downtown district's goal is. That's what part of the police department's goal, a clean and safe downtown. And how that didn't promote a clean and safe because people didn't want to walk through it and it would grind in and, and cause a number of problems. Uh, one day I came down here and I saw him with a broom sweeping some stuff up off the ground and throwing it in a trash can. And so I approached him and talked to him about it and he said, well, you, you've been telling me you wanted it clean and safe and so I'm trying to clean it up. Exactly what we were looking for. You know, people who are down here enjoying the area to also do their part to keep it clean and safe. And so I told him how much I appreciated him doing that and asked him if I could get him something just as a thank you for doing that. He really wanted some raspberry sorbet. So I came down here to uh, Aspen Leaf Yogurt and they had raspberry sorbet, who knew it, and some raspberry, uh, raspberries on the bar in there. So I got him a little bit of raspberry sorbet with the raspberries on top. He absolutely loved it. And then other people around said, well, what, what can I do to get something? You know, what can I do? I said, you know, I'm not doing that all the time, but you know, clean and safe is all we're looking for. Just do your part to keep it clean down here. And so the two ideas kind of melded together and I thought, well, I would hate to hand out things that people would have to take across the east side of town to redeem. So I wonder if the downtown businesses would be willing to participate in a program like this and sponsor it by providing the items. Every business I talked to was 100% receptive, liked the idea. And so we got them behind as to what the wording is, what they would uh, be willing to give away and then had some cards developed and Sculpt, which is one of our uh, local social media firms, they helped design the card and put together the graphics necessary to have them printed. And uh, once we got that all put together, the wording authorized by the businesses and the design concept uh, down with Sculpt, took it over to Zephyrs and got our cards printed up. This is one of the Thank You Iowa City cards. On the back is a list of businesses where a recipient can redeem this. Uh, the options are Yotopia frozen yogurt to get an eight ounce cup of frozen yogurt, Molly's Cupcake for one of their traditional cupcakes, the Java House is any hot brewed drink that they have, Iowa Book is any size fountain drink, or you can take it down to get an hour of free parking in the ramps or two free bus passes from City Transit. And there's no cost, you walk this into any one of those businesses, it can only be redeemed at one of them. You turn this into them and you can redeem it for whatever the object is at that particular business free of charge. What makes downtown great is all the people that we have down here. From uh, people who frequent here every day to people only come down once in a while to have dinner to the people who come down and do the artwork and stuff. It's the people that really make the difference down here and make it a great place. And if everybody pitches together, we can keep that clean and safe downtown so everyone feels welcome, which has been one of my goals down here. I want everyone to feel welcome to come down here, but to treat the environment and the people with respect, to keep it clean and safe so everyone can come down, no one feels intimidated. Um, another great thing about the Thank You Iowa City program is that as police officers, we are typically called to situations that are negative. So we're coming in, we're exerting authority. Sometimes that authority is arresting or issuing citations. But when we're driving around all day, or in my case, walking and biking around, we see a lot of good things going on. But that's, we're not tasked with approaching people who are doing good things and reinforcing the good things. We're tasked with dealing with the negative situations. This is one of the ways that, that the downtown business district has helped us to be able to approach someone who's doing something good, give them a reward and a thank you, and have that positive police citizen encounter that otherwise we don't normally get.
You're watching City Channel 4. On TV, online, on demand, on Facebook, and now on the go on your mobile device.